Hi everyone. The new Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie has come out and I wanted to show some of the New World Order symbolism that's through here that has been in many of the movies lately. I won't give away any of the spoilers. It's a very good movie to go and see. Spider-Man movies are a little bit different than all of the other movies of superheroes. Spider-Man in his comics is known as a suffering man. Always. He's always having the girl problems, he's always broke, and he's always struggling with the trying to be the good around all of the evil. And in all of these movies it's the same way. In this movie, Andrew Garfield, the man who plays Peter Parker, and Emma Stone, who plays Gwen Stacy, they are actually married in here. Well, this coordinates with the Bible a lot, because through here, Peter Parker keeps talking all the way through that he wants to represent hope and mercy for everybody. And Max and Harry Osborn, Max, one of the, the man who plays Electro here, and Jamie Foxx played a great character of Electro through here. But they want to get rid of mercy and grace, basically, and have no more hope in the world. All the way through here, it had a very big symbolic feeling of, well, all through the Bible, of what's known as the fifth age coming. In the Bible, in the book of Daniel, it talks of this statue, and God says there will be five ages, and then everything will be destroyed and remade. We are in this fourth age now, just like our forefathers for the USA. It is the time of mercy and grace, right here. This is God's grace and mercy right now, all upon us all. We, we have the free gift of Jesus Christ's sacrifice. After this comes the fifth age, the big V, the final age. And this is the age of the beast, where they blend man with machines and some type of DNA. Just as in the other Spider-Man movie where they were blending the reptiles with human beings. In this movie, they're blending the machines with all of the individuals. Just like a Skynet situation from Terminator going on through here. But this is the fifth age. Right here on the Illuminati box cover for their card game, you can see this clown up here. This represents basically Harry Osborn and the Oscorp right here. This devil, this clown. See how he wants to get to the fifth age. Everybody in the Illuminati is working to get to here. And they want to destroy the USA. When the USA falls, the fifth age begins. And this guy over here that looks like a machine doing this RFID chip. And they make everybody worship this image of the beast. It's all right in the Bible, the fifth age. Well, this went on through this movie for a long time with Gwen. And in the Bible it says that the devil, Satan, is going to be cast down and is basically going to go after the woman. Well in this movie, hopefully this won't be a spoiler, but here we go, Harry Osborn is the son of Norman Osborn. He is the Green Goblin right here. Well, he gets cast down just like Satan and then he goes after the woman this is what it says happens in the Bible Satan is cast down and he goes after the woman trying to kill her he goes after Gwen Stacy to try to hurt Spider-Man see him right here and he has to blend himself with machines so we have all through here man blended with machines changing their DNA the exact same thing with Max here. Max has obviously been changed. Well, this is, like I say, this is in the Bible to happen. That when the devil comes down, he creates his abominations. All right here. Well, Harry opens up the pit to the abyss and lets out all of these different machines that he has. And one of them is for this man called Rhino. Here is our Russian aspect that the 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 New World Order and the the I don't know I guess the serpent aspect that's infected all of the world is not just in the USA government it's a worldwide system working for the New World Order now Harry opens up the abyss and lets this man out 
right here. He even gets him out of prison called the Rhino and he represents Russia coming. And Russia in the Bible is supposed to come after the USA. The USA is the daughter of Babylon in the Bible. And ten nations come together to come after the USA. Just as in this movie, it's enemies unite trying to come to take down Spider-Man. And Spider-Man all through there keeps talking like he represents the USA and the USA flag. Well, this is the secret that I wanted to show. For those that go watch this movie, this is the one part I will give the spoilers to. Right here. It's all about this graduation in the beginning. And on my channel, I keep showing we are supposed to go blue. In Jesus' right hand, he holds seven stars, seven angels, seven churches. It is considered to be the sweet influence, the Pallades. And the Pallades is seen as blue. And this represents heaven. In here, you see how they are graduating and they're all blue? Gwen Stacy, the valedictorian, with the big V for the fifth age coming, she gives a speech in here. And it gives a lot of secrets away. She goes through here that now that we have done our four years of high school, just like as if we are finished with our fourth age, that we now all feel like we are immortal. Well, in the Bible, after the fourth age, all of Jesus' people are leaving. We're going to the right hand. We will be graduated in blue, and we will all be immortal. We will be born into our new immortal bodies, right here. It, maybe our fleshly body might die, but our immortal soul is forever now. We, are, we will be ascended. Well, this goes on through here, and she talks about that that it's basically the end of the fourth age we're all graduating and going on towards our immortality and stuff and then the abyss is opened and Harry Osborne and his green goblin come out to try to attack the woman trying to hurt Spider-Man well I didn't want to give away a whole bunch of spoilers and hopefully I haven't but in here it shows them blending the machines with mankind again and there is an infection all through all of the world governments that to bring about this new world order. It's real. It's coming. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. There was an awful lot of things about numbers through here. You see 7703, just like the missing flight 370 that was gone. Then you can see the 35 here. 35 in the book of Psalms is saying that we are basically getting ready to be ambushed. This whole Psalm is David calling out to the Lord to protect him because everybody is coming after him. Everybody. David was spurned by everybody. Even after he killed Goliath, David did not go become king. He had to wander and fight for Saul for many many years and he was persecuted just like Spider-Man going through until he actually finally got the kingdom after many years when Saul finally fell so you can see all of that is right in front of us Psalm 35 says everybody in the world is coming after us the USA should prepare save water that's the best thing you can do right now thank you very much everybody may the Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on us all Hallelujah.